This year's Grand National, uh, according to the official handicapper, is one for the ages. He said it is the best uh, Grand National of all time. I mean, we have the return of last year's first and second, who closely finished. It was a length and three quarters winning distance last year. Many Clouds and St. R. They're both returning to take on the challenge. We'll have a dual King George winner in Sylvia Nacco Conte, who won a grade one last time out. And then you have all, all your usual young pretenders coming through. They're led by the last samurai, who won the Grim Thorpe at Doncaster last time out. He's officially £12 well, well in on the handicap, which is a massive advantage. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people are, are, are tipping him up, maybe, maybe just a step too far this year. Uh, then, then you have the lead of the Irish challengers. And funnily, it's a race where w Willie Mullins doesn't have the greatest record. I think his last winner was Hedge Hunter back in 2001, I believe that was. Uh, but, but, but you have people like Tony Martin, real handicap geniuses who send over their best runners every year, run them in Ireland, protect their mark, come over to England and try and take the big prize. So, so last year's winner, Many Clouds, heads the bet, and Leighton Aspel going for his third winner in a row, which would be a, an, an excellent achievement. It's currently 8-1. Uh, it was an exceptional performance last year from, from Oliver Sherwood to get it to win the race. Uh, it, for, for me, for picking a winner, 8-1 would be very short. I, I, would, I automatically would look away from a favourite to try and find a bit of value in a 40-runner handicap or something like that. Uh, but he, he has great, great chance and for, uh, for anybody looking to do a bet to finish the course, he'd have to be top of your list to get, to get round. Next to betting is the last Samurai, who have already touched upon. Won the Grimthorpe last time out. I think it just maybe lacks a little bit of, bit of experience. It's a ma massive feel that it'll go off very, very quickly. I think the, the last summer might maybe be caught out a bit early on, maybe a bit too far back in the pack. Sylvia Nacco Conti is next in the betting, 12 to 1. Officially the best horse in the race, probably by, by a distance. It's a multiple grade one winner, won two King Georges. Uh, trained, trained by Paul Nichols, who's won the race a couple of times. Uh, my, my main problem, Sylvia Nacco Conti always struggled to win a Chel in the Cheltenham Gold Cup, which is three mile two. You're going to the entry, fair enough, it's a flat track, but it's an extra mile. I, I really couldn't see something I could Conti stay on the trip. Next, there's a couple of ends, 16 to 1. You have Hollywell, who run a very good prep race, finishing second at the Cheltenham Festival. B bit, of a, bit of a dodgy horse can get, can get worked up. I'd, I would be slightly concerned about that. I mean, you don't want to be spending the energy if you're going to go and run four and a quarter miles. Uh, the Drew's nephew, 16 to 1. Bit of a local interest, not Niall Mahone, or Neil Mahone, sorry, the trainer. He, he's born in, born in Northern Ireland, so up the trains, trains out of England. 16 to 1 was going brilliantly last year. Uh, had, had won the handicap at Cheltenham leading up to it. Uh, unfortunately, fell, fell five out, but was well in contention. And it's one I think will go very close again this year. Also, 16 to 1 is last year's runners up, uh, St. Dar. And his trainer, Tom George, is in excellent form at the moment. He's firing the winners left, right and centre. He would be uh, one that I put on anybody's shortlist. Another one, like many clouds, you'd expect to finish the course for anybody looking for that sort of bet. Then the, the 20 to 1 is the, the start of the Irish horses, Gallant Oscar. Trained by Tony Martin uh, and owned by J.P. McManus, who paid a, a very, very big fee to buy him with this, ra this race and only this race in mind. Uh, it looks like Barry Garrity is going to select this horse over shut the front door who was fifth last year in the race, uh, and, and that, that speaks volumes. If Barry Gardy's choosing that over shut the front door, then I reckon he'll be well in the mix. So finally the most important thing then would be uh, who I think is going to win the race. The last year tipped up St. Darf, and as I've already mentioned, finished second. I'm going to stick with St. Darf. One is a prep race at Doncaster. Uh, two pound better off in the weights this year, and uh, has had a wind up, which generally brings on a, a bit of an improvement in a horse. And as I've already mentioned, his trainer is on, on great, if great form. So I'll stick with St. Dar for the win. In terms of places, I've mentioned the Druid's nephew. Very, very unlucky last year. Uh, they're, they're both 16 to 1 now too. But I think the Druid's nephew, maybe just uh, maybe just lack of pace at, at the end to, to win in a Grand National, where I think St. Dar proved last year he has it. One, another one I'll mention uh, is uh, sorry, Bishop's Road. Trained by Kerry Lee, who has had an, a massive rise to the trainer ranks this year. Took over from her father at the start of the season, won a Welsh National in December, uh, has won uh, the Grand National trial with this horse at Haydock in February, won her first grade one in Ireland there last week. She's a real, real one up and coming, at 25 to 1 for Bishop's Road, I think is good, good at each way price. And then finally, one at a bigger price, O'Feelan's Boy. Now, this is me, me uh, talking from the heart here. I backed O'Feelan's Boy for the Welsh National. Uh, he, didn't, for, he didn't take his chance, they decided they wanted to have a go at the Cheltenham Gold Cup. But wasn't really up to that task, which you wouldn't necessarily expect of a Grand National winner. 
Uh, but he was up with, up with the runners for a good, good two and a half mile, leading them. Uh, I just think a good ground, they'll go, it'll definitely go the pace. One an RSA as a novice. They get 33 to 1, you have a good chance of getting place money there. And also with McLean's this week, you get uh, five places compared to the usual four and guaranteed prices from uh, four o'clock on Friday onwards. So our regular presenter, Adrian Logan, couldn't be with us today, but he has sent the words through for his selection for the Grand National. So this is probably one to avoid, but uh, we'll let him have his moment anyway. Uh, Boston Bob, trained by Willie Mullins. Everybody knows about Willie Mullins. He's sending over a good few runners this week to try and win the Trainers' Championship. With Ruby Walsh on board, 25 to 1, fair enough bet each way. So he, he may be right. <laughs>